One year old woman was struck by a hit and run driver overnight. Let's go right out to Steve Keeley. You know, not far from that fire, we've had two of our 17 fatal hit and runs this year at the same corner, uh, despite the cobblestones. And I just say that because people are driving a lot more dangerously than they have in past years. And here we are for the second day in a row talking about really bad accidents. Yesterday we had the double fatal at 52nd and Walnut and a fatal hit and run that happened simultaneously. And now we have another hit and run. And this is the scene here on Rising Sun in the Lawn Crest section of Northeast Philly right near the Taconi Creek. This is between Sanger and Godfrey. And this woman was going out to her car from her apartment on the same street to retrieve things for her puppy. And that's what you see all littered in the street along with one of her New Balance shoes uh, that got flung off her foot. And when the first cop found her, he thought there's no way she's alive. She was not conscious at that point. When they put her into the police car to rush her to the hospital, she regained somewhat consciousness, but one of her bones was sticking out of her arm, so they knew her arm was broken and she had really bad head injuries. And what they realized those things all over the street were was a package of puppy training pads that you have to potty train your dog in the house. And that package essentially exploded and all those were flung all over the street where the speed limit, just 30 miles an hour, likely was being more than doubled at the time by the vehicle that hit her and didn't even slow down or stop to even see who they hit or whether they could help save her. According to the witness, they heard a, a loud thump and then they realized that the vehicle that hit her was driving at such a high rate of speed, they couldn't even make out the color or the type of vehicle. That's how fast According to the witness, this vehicle was traveling. Now, we know that the 31-year-old female was actually launched out of one of her sneakers, and one of her sneakers is on the scene. Fortunately, we found numerous private surveillance cameras on multiple businesses on the block. So hopefully, these cameras recorded something that can help us with this hit and run of a 31 year old female who was just feet away from the front door of her property when she got hit by this vehicle that according to the witness was driving at a very high rate of speed struck her and then just left the scene thomas karen when police say when they asked the witness what kind of car it was when the witness is used of the word it was a blur that gives you a sense what that person thought the car was doing on a 30 mile an hour street because to that witness, it was just a blur where they couldn't even get a look at the car because it was going so fast. And the only surprising thing is this is that this young woman is still alive, judging by the impact and the scene there that was so widespread with all the debris all over the place. Mm. Well, we certainly are um, hoping for her to recover. Thank you there, Steve.